Hello, this is something of a follow down to a video I just made. I'm calling it a follow down because I should have made this video first, so it's not really a follow up. But I just need to think about the difference between fatalism and determinism. Because a lot of the discussion about free, <coughs> excuse me, about free will, determinism, consciousness uh, that's around right now, I think is confusing uh, determinism and fatalism. And they are really different concepts. And fatalism is a redundant concept and we shouldn't really be thinking about it because ultimately fatalism is dualistic. So unless you're buying into a dualist model of, uh, of a, a kind of transcendent mind in a physical body, unless you're buying into that, we've really got no room for fatalism. And the reason why I say that is, is this distinction between fatalism and, dualism and uh, determinism. Fatalism, uh, if you're a fatalist, then you recognize that the, the, the kind of universe is determined, it's, you know, the, what, what will be, will be, it's that kind of an understanding of the universe, and your future is already mapped out for you, but you can have an attitude towards that, you can have thoughts about it, you can have hopes, dreams, wishes, fears, maybe even intentions and agency to a certain extent within that, which is disconnected to what that future is. Now that's fatalism. You can go through a completely fatalistic life in which your end is well determined in, in, in advance of your even being born. You can, you can have that experience. But as a fatalist, you can have all kinds of different reactions to that. You can hope for a different end of future. You can despair. You can, have all, you can have all kinds of attitudes towards it. But your ultimate ends as the same. And that's, and that's fatalism. Um, and the fact that, you can, that, that exactly the same physical things are happening, but... Uh, but your uh, attitude towards it, your thoughts, your consciousness is different, requires a dualistic model to understand. Because obviously, if, if, the, if the, the, the matter of the physical universe is exactly the same, then you should be having exactly the same thoughts, yes? So fatalism requires dualism. If you're a determinist, um, or you, you, know, you want to adopt determinism, then you would have to accept that thoughts are as determined as everything else. No matter how self-reflexive they are, no matter how recursive they are, no matter how many, how many, how complex it gets in terms of you thinking about, thinking about, thinking about, hoping about, dreaming about what happened in the past, what happened in the future, about prediction. No matter how complex that gets, if you're a determinist, you have to accept that every single thought, including the ones that I'm having now, and including how it's expressed in words coming out of your mouth, is part of that same inevitable stream of ideas these are eddies in the stream these are circulating whirlpools in the eddies of that stream which is carrying you towards a, um, an, 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 an impossible to predict but ultimately determined future determined by the present determined by the past fatalism doesn't do that fatalism assumes a separateness of consciousness and therefore is ultimately dualist and therefore in my opinion bogus